Hey there, YouTube. Wanted to jump into some Kosovo news. It's a really quick clip, but I thought it would be interesting. We've never covered Kosovo exclusively on the stream, so I thought I would do it today. Um, Serbia's uh, Volkic says, says we'll ask NATO permission to deploy troops in Kosovo as tensions flare. Um, you know, could this be could, could you know could this be NATO uh, joining joining a, uh, a you know a battle a battle battlefield? I don't think so. I don't think that's that's the case here. But let's uh, let's see this. This is a really quick clip. Let's just see what uh, France twenty four has to say. Kosovo Serbs are out in the streets again, and the fears of renewed violence loom. Demonstrators block the streets in the northern part of the country after a former police officer, an ethnic Serb, was arrested. He was detained following two incidents this week where election officials and centers were attacked and an officer was shot and wounded. Well, God damn. Kosovar police say the blockade halted traffic and were forced to close two border crossings with Serbia. The Serbian president announced he will be making an unprecedented request to NATO to deploy Serbian peacekeepers and police in Kosovo. <laughs> Today, we agreed on the text in which we will send a request to the K-4 commander asking him to ensure the deployment of members of the army and police of the Republic of Serbia on the territory of Kosovo and Metohija in accordance with the Security Council resolution. I repeat, we are under no illusion that they will accept it. The latest tensions come as Kosovo's president announced the postponement of local elections in four municipalities with a predominantly Serb population mm. from next week to next mm -hmm. year uh -huh. after yep. Serb political parties said is. he would boycott the vote. In November, oh. over 600 ethnic Serbs... Man, we don't deserve dogs. I don't care. We, humanity doesn't deserve dogs. Would boycott the vote. Look at this good little boy. They got three shots of him, man. That's so cool. They got three shots. Look. It's come as Kosovo's president announced the... It's a little, it's a little story. ...postponement of local elections Hold in on. four municipalities with a predominantly Serb population from next week to next year after main Serb political parties said it would boycott the vote. <laughs> yeah, okay, so there's two dogs. One down here, and then one of them runs... He's like running over there, right? Vote. <laughs> they don't show it, but he's 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 about to go Here, in for the pets. After main Serb political he's parties, he's about to go in for the pets. The <laughs> he's about to. He's like, yep. I'm just gonna chill here right now. Man, dogs are so cool. Fuck, fucking dogs. This is awesome. All right. Anyway, sorry. This is a very serious story, but I just I just love how dogs. You know, they're just they're so innocent. They're separate from all of this. Albania, Kosovo, they don't they just want the pets. They want <laughs> He's like this guy's cool. He gives me pets. In November, over 600 ethnic Serb representatives, lawmakers, prosecutors and police officers resigned their posts to protest the government's decision to wow. ban Serbia issued license plates. Wow. Both Kosovo and Serbia wish to join the EU, who has warned them to resolve their dispute and normalize relations in order to be eligible for membership in the bloc. Wow. Okay. So we and and Davies over here saying NATO already said that they would immediately end the conflict if Serbia attacked. Um, so Serbia hasn't attacked yet, though. This worries me. I saw how they went at each other in the '90s and for centuries before that. Yeah, I mean, you know, instead of instead of dicking around in the Middle East, we could have been solving some of these actual issues. You know what I mean? It's been spending all of our resources, you know, handing over big fat paychecks to the military industrial complex. We could have been mediating using our resources and using our immense power to, you know, to really create some real peace. You know, we, we don't, you don't, ha we're, we're not the, you know, you can be a mediator. You can be a, a voice of common sense without being um, the, the world's policeman, right? So, oh, you got to follow the rules. No, you don't have to do that. Um, unsatiable. I doubt you need more pie, bud. <laughs> you were asking for this. What are you doing saying such a thing? Uh, go ahead, Unsatiable. You're young. Eat a steak. Come come back at me when you got kidney stone problems in your 30s. Talk to me about steak. Um, so there you go, folks. That's a little Kosovo update. We're probably going to do some more on here, especially if uh, NATO does get involved. It looks like the, it's, you know, that, you know, even Mr. Uh, Vuvik there is uh, Vu Vukic is pretty skeptical that NATO is going to jump in, but uh, we'll definitely be covering this if NATO does and any other uh, uh, deployments or developments as they come along. So thank you so much. Like and subscribe. Check out the stream. Come on. You know, all that. Thank you so much. Check out the description.